androgenicity, if you want to know the one mistake as a guy that you are making when you're trying to get a woman to give you more passion, more sensuality and satisfaction, stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please hit the great big subscribe button right here, right now. So there's a right way and a wrong way to go about getting a woman to touch you, to pleasure you, to give you the insane excitement that you so desire. And I see so many guys just turn women off from doing what they really want them to do because they go the wrong way about it. So if you're a guy who is literally telling his woman what you want her to do, you're doing it wrong. Telling someone what to do is never a good thing. Telling is literally instructing them, right? You don't want to be making a woman feel obligated to do anything. You want to be making a woman feel so good about her pleasuring you that she wants to do that for you. So how do you do this? It's very, very simple, but guys just don't seem to think this way. So what you need to do is when a woman does something you like, whether it's kissing your neck or stroking your hair, whether it's touching your chest, rubbing your thighs, stroking your butt, whether it's riding on top of you when you're having sex, you need to be letting her know how it makes you feel. So don't tell her to do something, tell her how it makes you feel. Because if you're telling her how it makes you feel, if you're saying, honey, I love it when you stroke my bum like that. I love it when you squeeze it firmly. I love it when you touch and caress my thighs. I love it when you put your tongue in my lips, when you make sweet love to it. I love it, baby, when you're smiling at me and you're, you're on top of me and you're riding me and you're just having the best time of your life. I love it, baby, when you like come all over me and you let me come all over you. I just love you, baby, for that. I'm crazy for you. I love the way you do that. I love the way you bounce on me. I love the way you sit on me. I love the way you make me feel. And you encourage the woman to do the action that you want her to do by explaining how it makes you feel, how it excites you, how it makes you feel vibrant and energetic, how every single part of your being pulsates for her, how much you want her, how much you're begging for her, how much she's driving you crazy. Because by explaining it this way, she's really getting turned on herself. She's really getting aroused. She's really getting excited. She's wanting to please you. She's wanting to make you happy because she knows it feels good to you. And once one person feels good and they know that they're making the other person feel good, you've got like mutual feel good chemicals just firing off in your brain and your body. And you're just like really enjoying the moment. It's like an explosion of volcanic beauty. And you know, it's just great and fantastic, right? No kid wants to be told what to do. No adult wants to be told what to do. So stop telling women, do this, do that, because it sounds like you're ordering someone around in the army or something like that, you know? It's not nice, it's not pleasant, right? Women want to feel your expressiveness, they want to feel your emotions and excitement and the way you're making them feel gives them that emotional, passionate connection that can otherwise be missing the more they feel you're turned on by what they do, the more they feel that you are being made happy by what they do, the more they feel like you need them and you want them in the most romantic, sensual, passionate way is something that they can relate to. We have a human need to be needed and wanted and liked and loved and cared for, right? And if you two people are both into sex, you both enjoy it, you both love the sensuality, you both love touch, you both love passion. Obviously your partner's got to want that as well. But if you're both those type of people, then by expressing how you feel and encouraging your partner to do the actions you want them to do in the bedroom, and this also goes throughout the whole relationship. If you encourage them in the things they do well, if you, if you um, give them praise when they're doing something so good, 
then you can have the most satisfying, sensual, passionate, deeply connected relationship like you've never experienced before. So whenever your partner is literally doing something else for you, like if your woman buys you a cake or she listens to you go on about your problems at work and you know you can say hey baby I love it when you listen to me it makes me feel so good not like are you listening to me now you know like just say I need your time honey I need you to listen to what I'm saying because it feels so good when you do I feel so connected so energized so intellectually uh stimulated so emotionally connected to you you know, and the more you start encouraging your woman, the more you start expressing your feelings towards her, the more she'll come towards you, the more that you can light up this sensual, passionate, satisfaction element to your relationship. And it will just take off and thrive and flourish. Anyway, I hope you found this video a useful, helpful insight. If you have in any way, please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel because this channel is a place to be for dating relationships advice on how to have more passion, more sensuality and more satisfaction in your dating relationships. So subscribe for more videos like this and touch that bell icon. Hit that bell icon right here right now and I'll see you soon.